Walking up the Dream Finders home practice complex with tight end Tyler Eifert coming off Friday practice, getting ready for a big trip to Green Bay. And the biggest storyline, of course, is quarterback Jake Luton. Once again, impressive performance last week. But what have you seen from the starter this week? Uh, yeah, I mean, he, he played well last week. You know, a young guy that just came in and was composed and, um, you know, took command of the huddle. And I mean, let us down to, to almost tie up the game. So that that was uh, some positives and just try to build on that this week and, and get a little bit better each week. A bunch of guys, Jay Groot and Coach Moan are all saying he kind of doesn't really act like a rookie at times. Have you seen that as well? Yeah, he's just uh, composed and and calm. He doesn't seem like he gets rattled. And, uh, you know, that's what you want out of a quarterback when things aren't going your way, just that calm demeanor that everything's all right. We're going to try to find a way to score a touchdown and win the game. Mm -hmm. And everyone seems pretty excited about this matchup this week. I know 2017, I believe the Bengals played the Packers. So I'm assuming you've been there before, but these young guys keep talking about going up against Aaron Rodgers. So what is the appeal of Lambeau Field? Yeah, I wish there was going to be fans there. I mean, I think that would have been that would have been fun. That would have been cool. Um, and then, you know, everybody knows Aaron Rodgers. And offensively speaking, you know, we're not we're not playing against Aaron Rodgers. We're playing against their defense. So we just focus on winning our matchups, moving the ball up and down the field, and and trying to get points. And um, you know, try to help our defense. You know, we need to just play better as a team offense helps the defense defense helps the offense we got each other's back and good mm -hmm. things will happen so your first year year here tyler and uh you seem to be enjoying it to say the least i'm seeing some pool pics and some golfing going on on instagram so i think you're fitting in here to say the least i am enjoying it here um you know coming here i'd never even been to jacksonville just to visit so it was it's all been new to me and having fun so far enjoying the and the nice weather this time of year it's been awesome and get out and golf a little bit here and there during the season which i normally don't get to do mm -hmm. that's been fun yeah i can imagine a november in jacksonville is a a little different from a november in cincinnati yeah you you pay for it during camp though you earn it <laughs> because during camp it's a lot hotter and more miserable but if you can get to this point in the season then uh then you're good. You made it this far. I have to ask, I went back, looked at some old pictures, did my research, and the mullet, it alarmed me. I didn't know that you had a mullet before. So is that ever coming back? No, I just had some fun with that. Uh, I, had, I had had a couple injuries, and I was like, I'm just going to change it up. I'm going to go with a mullet. And it was, it was going really well. It had grown out. I got past the awkward stage. <laughs> And uh, it was like, it was flowing really good. And uh, then I ended up getting hurt in week four. So I cut it off. That was the end of that party. But Linder is actually carrying that torch right now. He's got a pretty nice mullet going. I've been seeing that from afar. Have you guys kind of shared mullet tips, if that's such a thing? How to upkeep? Well, yeah, I mean, I noticed early in the in the season, it, it was starting to come along. But now it's getting some, a little bit of hang time and it's getting it's getting really close to being being awesome wow high praise for brandon linder i like it well tyler eifert thanks so much for walking off the field with us yeah no problem thank you